What is going on guys, it's Saturn Reaper here, and we are back again with all the leaks, literally all in one place, one spot for you guys to watch. I was going to separate it into multiple videos, but decided that it would just be better if we just threw it into one video. So first things first, leaked skins, we have them all together here on you guys' screen. So as you guys can see there, starting at the top left, we have this kind of like purple hazard -ish skin, purple hair. Very interesting styles that we have going on here, obviously going to fit with this kind of like futuristic theme of the season, and hopefully they do a lot more expansion because this season isn't you know super overwhelming but definitely a little underwhelming in my opinion in terms of like stuff that's new on the map but that's just me so moving on over to the skin on the top right just one over there the white and red skin looks pretty darn cool and they are attached with back blings at the bottom but i don't think these ones are accurate i think they're in a weird order especially the first one there with the spine that actually came out today with the skin that's over there in the black and blue wow this is very very vague explanations because we don't have official names for them well except for the black and blue one then we finally have a female raptor which i feel like we're long overdue for a female raptor for some reason but i think that is her back bling there um then that one there the black with the blue hat obviously that is the shoot what is the name of the original skin but kind of like redesigned for now it's very interesting to see uh it's one of the spray paint graffiti skins that we used to have back in season four season four i think is when that skin came out and then over there at the end we have our red skin which mostly goes with that red back bling there as well and those are all back blings down there in that second row and then moving into the third row we do have two emotes now that second emote in that row is actually going to be an old school running man which is actually interesting don't know why they would do that then we also have our wrap as well which is in the shop right now we have another wrap that's coming and then one more wrap after that and then those are just the poses of the characters afterwards so next big thing that we have on our list here actually ties into the vaults that we had so far so today we had a lot of weapons vaulted a lot and i mean a lot so one unvaulted the grenades vaulted the clingers buried treasure map pump shotgun poison dart traps gold revolver surprised assault rifle thermal assault rifle and balloons were all vaulted so the only thing i unvaulted were grenades for the season and they obviously added a new shotgun now there is a little bit of explanation as to why this was done and i have that post up there if you guys want to pause and read it briefly but i'll also just kind of point out that the important part here it's just that hey they realized that you know pump shotguns were making up for 26 percent of the eliminations in the game which is absolutely nuts to me but it definitely sounds like a legitimate statistic and it's not that big of a surprise for us to really you know get a taste of like that being said to us you know what i mean like a lot of a lot of the engagements do end in shotgun fights and submachine guns so i think that 26 percent is reasonable probably the next category is submachine guns at 15 to 18 percent most likely because that's like the finishing weapon and then probably you know most of the other weapons are very 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 low assault rifles are probably up there in that you know 10 12 percent range so they didn't give very very detailed specifics about it but i think it's likely that you know those are probably the numbers at least around those areas so 26 percent for the pump shotgun actually absolutely makes sense however i don't know if it was the right move to remove it honestly the game feels kind of weird without shotguns you know because a lot of it just now allows for spray meta and personally i think if they're going to do that then they need to reduce bloom so that people can actually like use weapons and first shot accuracy yeah it's helpful but i really want to you know have reduced bloom on scars and stuff like that really show true accuracy next thing on here on our list here are the challenges for week one we do have them obviously challenges will go out to, to uh today <laughs> uh today i think challenges are definitely 100 percent live aren't they am i dumb hold on boys i i might have just thrown these on your screen for absolutely no reason but i didn't also realize that it was yeah i don't know it's definitely thursday okay so that that obviously just negates all reason for you guys to even look at this so i'm going to slow this down for a second and then cut it down a little bit so i can move on to the next thing so next thing on our list here, funny enough, is a very interesting piece of information here where this house now at the tip of Paradise Palms now is in the game. Now this is actually tied into our next movie crossover. So John Wick movie, which is about to come out, I believe on May 17th is the release date or May 13th, one or the other and that is actually john wick's house now those are two comparison images as you guys can see there now funny enough we're actually getting an event an ltm for john wick so we do have a list of challenges here for wick's bounty now we can go ahead and read through those and they aren't too crazy but they're going to be a little tedious obviously win a match of wick's bounty one play matches of wick's bounty seven collect gold coins collect gold coins in a single match deal damage with the combat shotgun and deal damage with the tactical assault rifle now you 
you guys are probably like what's the tactical assault rifle well actually we do have a leak for that as well we do know that the tactical assault rifle is a weapon that is coming to the game relatively soon and it will be up on you guys screen in just a second here as well so this is the only weapon that we know is coming relatively soon and we're assuming that this weapon is most likely going to come out next week which is super super soon for a new weapon in the game but absolutely makes sense to just you know really reintroduce that loot pool and i wish they honestly sometimes i wish that they would just completely redo the loot pool that'd be awesome but we'll probably never have something like that happen anytime soon so on the note of, you know, weapons coming back, I think the heavy shotgun is probably likely to come back this season. I really think that it fits in with this futuristic feel, especially with that tactical assault rifle. It just feels like, you know, the heavy shotgun definitely has a place here. So next thing on the list here is the Nexus event kind of like had this little helmet on the desk. If you guys probably didn't go to the desk or even look at the desk, but it was in the multiple videos that we covered of the Nexus event. And this helmet is somewhat important because I believe it ties into our challenges skin, you know, our secret challenges skin. So it is actually being held by a statue in Neo Tilted right now, and I think that there are things suggesting that that Neo Tilted statue is going to be breaking over time or start to shatter over time, which is kind of typical of them to do in terms of teasing a new upcoming skin that is going to be in like the discoveries or whatever so we also have an interesting way of going about a new kind of secondary thing here which i think might have some connections to this sort of statue figure because i believe the statue figure is here because it kind of like led the revolution of neo tilted you know really led to the saving of tilted and retail you know building the malls building all these cool new in inventions and innovations on the map so here is what we have and this is actually part of the fort bites that we're going to be picking up throughout the map over time and i will actually do a video kind of keeping you guys updated on these as time goes on they'll probably be shorter videos so you guys know where they are but here's what we have so far and it looks like it's the bearded jonesy but he's kind of gone mad in this little vault and we don't know where that vault area was specifically because they never really showed us exactly only in for when he came out now we don't know how long he spent in there obviously it took a long time for them to build all that stuff so i could i mean i could assume that he could stay in there for it could have been 10 years we don't know and 10 years obviously Fortnite, it's they're gonna make it so that you know Jonesy survives so we're not gonna say you know he should have died most likely but obviously he has a super long beard but it looks like he's going crazy here and has all these drawings on the wall in the top right there actually is an image of the cube in the bottom left I believe that is the bunker in my opinion that looks like the bunker so I think that Jonesy was getting some type of visions or maybe he's tied in with this you know utopia skin and maybe she was or he were feeding him you know these visions and stuff like that we don't really know or maybe he's like hearing things I don't know I we really don't know but that is kind of like an interesting note to point out and also it's just a really creepy loading screen if what Whatever it's going to end up being is going to be extremely creepy and going to give us a new vibe to the map i think at some point later on in the season so that is everything i want to put in you guys's radar guys that is a lot of information to put into one video and i really tried to keep it concise and keep it simple for you guys to get everything through so i hope you guys enjoyed make sure to leave a like sub up share around and i'll catch you guys in the next one peace